Strange Genetic Situations, Part 4, Sex-Linked Inheritance. For many people, this is the most difficult form. Sex-linked inheritance is where some genes are only on the X chromosome. Now, this means that it's inherited differently in males and females. Females have two Xs. Therefore, they have two chances of inheriting any sex-linked allele. However, males are X, Y, so they only get one chance of inheriting a sex-linked allele. Common examples of sex-linked traits are red-green colour blindness, baldness, and haemophilia. Haemophilia is a disease where your blood does not clot, so when you start bleeding, you continue bleeding. Now here's a question now on the next page. A man is colourblind. A woman is not. But her father was. What is the chance they will have a colourblind child? Now to answer this type of question, we start off by thinking, hold on, a male is X, Y. A female is X, X. All sex-linked traits are recessive. So we can say X big C equals normal vision, while X small c is colourblind. Now that we have a key, we can start to fill this in. A man is colourblind. He only has one X. It must be the colourblind recessive allele. A woman is not colourblind. She must have a big C. But her father was colourblind. So we come over here. Here's her colourblind father. Remember nothing on the Y. She inherited a X from him because she's a female. Therefore, she got the small C here. This is her. Now we have our parents, we do our Punnett square as normal. We add our two parents, the male and the female, and then we fill in as per any other Punnett square. We revisit our question, chance they will have a colourblind child. In this case, the number of individuals here that are colourblind are in yellow. The chance of a colourblind child is 50%. This was a fairly simple question. We do have to be careful. Sometimes they ask, what are the phenotypes of the offspring? And you quickly notice that this column are female, this column are male. So if we were to answer a question about the phenotypes of the offspring, we would be talking about a normal male, one, a colorblind male, one, one normal female, and one colorblind female. So. When we asked for phenotypes, we have to remember to add in the gender. The one trick to these questions, do not ever put a trait on the Y. Never, never, never. Only on the Xs. Then we follow normal Punnett square rules. Also remembering we always breed a female, XX, with a male, XY, if we want children or offspring.